just remembered that I wanted to vlog the moving process more, including the like clearing stuff up and packing. But it's now 6.30 on Sunday and we get the keys for the new flat tomorrow, so I've obviously failed with that. Anyway, today I have been cleaning up this kitchen here. I've emptied out all of the cupboards and cleaned them all. These are all empty now. And I've been putting everything. Okay, ready for this? This is our stuff. That is so much stuff. Basically everything we own is in here now apart from like a suitcase worth of things and also our bedding upstairs still. Yeah, most of our stuff is down here. This is a lot of the kitchen stuff that I've been packing up because I've run out of boxes and things. There is still more to go over there. It's been... we've been doing this like slowly I suppose over the past week, uh, two weeks even. We started um, packing things up because we knew that we didn't want it to be a mad rush at the end. I'm sure it's going to be anyway, but yeah. So yeah, we get the keys to the flat tomorrow at 10.30am, then I have to go on to work. Uh, Mark has a day off though, so I think he is going to take a few things down there. The smart thing to do would have been to put all the furniture and heavy things that the moving van is going to take in this side, and the lighter things down here, because we've booked a moving van to come for 8am on Tuesday for two hours, so that we can pack that up and take stuff down to the new apartment and then I can go into work not too late because I don't have any leave to take off for this move and yeah, annoyingly we're getting the keys on a Monday and not on a weekend. I'm looking forward to seeing the new flat again because obviously I've only seen it once when I went to view it and I hope this is nice as I remember. Pretty sure it is, but anyway, you'll be able to see it as well. I'll give like a little empty apartment tour in this video. If you haven't seen it yet, I did a video all about the moving process in London, so I vlogged from the time I found out that we had to leave this lovely flat that I love to the time when we got the new apartment. So if you want to see that and get some advice for moving in London because it's definitely something people often ask about, especially when they're moving overseas to come live in London, because that is quite obviously a stressful process. Yeah, there is loads of advice in there. I basically put every single thing I know about renting in London into that video. So it'll be linked on a card, I can't remember if it's which side of the screen it's on, but go watch that first. Having a super simple dinner tonight. I'm making us some soup. There's some garlic bread in the oven, which is nice and clean, so I don't want to mess it up too much. And I also found these cheddar and jalapeno sticks, so that's going to happen. We're on our way to do the check-in and get the keys for our new place because uh, when you first move in, they have like an inventory list, and you walk around with whoever's in charge of that and tick off all of the, like where there's marks on the walls and the state of the furniture that's there etc so that you know what state you have to leave it in at the end. Well we're fast forwarded to the evening time as you can tell. Uh, the check-in went okay. Uh, there was a few things with the flat that we're not too impressed with like the toilet seat was half falling off. We need to talk to the landlord and get those things solved. What was good though was that the check-in was done by a third party check-in person? <laughs> Inventory person, I think that's a better word. So that's where, like I said, they go around and like make note of all the condition of all the things that are there and yeah, the appliances or walls or whatever, if there's any scuffs, and note it down. When we moved into the flat we're in currently, like our old place, I guess, now it is, that's weird, <laughs> but when we did that, it was just me and Sammy and the landlord going around doing that. And I feel like having a third party is much better because he has no like loyalty to either side so he's just going to be totally honest about everything and yeah he was pointing things out to us I mean like I've noted this, I've noted this, I've noted this and we'd notice something and then be like oh yep I've got that so that was really good. Um, I obviously had to go to work after the check-in but Mark is off this week so I think he moved some stuff while I was at work and tonight I need to sort out all of that stuff in the living room that you saw the other day and put it in a proper order to be taken by the moving van tomorrow, like I was saying we should have done when we were putting it in there. But anyways, that's going to be my evening. Okay, am I phone vlogging? Because my vlog came around in a battery. We've just managed to move everything in an hour, which is amazing because we thought it would take like two or three, but Mark had a very efficient plan, so things went well. Thought I might give you a quick little empty-ish apartment tour because there is all this stuff here, obviously. But so you can see the space before I decorate it. So this is like our 
kitchen dining living space. Uh, there's like a nice wee kitchen in the corner over there. Nice natural light, which is good. I'm gonna get sofa and television. We'll go there. It came with this mirror. Uh, I wanted to put prints there, so I don't know about that, but we'll see. It does make the space feel a bit bigger, I suppose. And it came with these bookshelves, which is handy. Also came with these in the hallway, which is like a handy cupboard to put shoes in. Got a little laundry cupboard. There's a few things with it, like, you know, this on the mirror is obviously not great. And like I was talking about, there's no plug, so that's kind of lame. We'll get those things fixed though. And this is the bedroom. Came with the drawers, which I really like. They're gonna be handy. Nice big built-in wardrobe, also very handy. And a bed, which is not as low to the ground as our old one, so that's good too. Again, not so sure about these bedside tables, but we'll see. We spent the first night in the new flat last night, which was really exciting. I'm sure it'll take a while to feel like home, but at least the bed is comfortable, so that's something. But right now I'm on my way back to the old flat, because there's still stuff there that I need to bring down and I need to do some cleaning there as well and take all our kitchen stuff because we're not able to cook much at the moment because the kitchen things are like spread out between two different flats so yeah that's the thing that's gonna happen <laughs> it's all right <laughs> do some packing do some cleaning and then hopefully go to what i guess is home now and do some more setting things up i unpacked most of my wardrobe last night and i didn't vlog any of it because i hadn't found my camera battery yet <laughs> starting to come together in this flat as you can see. Mark's put my desk together, also our dining table together. Um, there's still like boxes and stuff everywhere obviously. We've just ordered a sofa to go in here. It's gonna be an L-shaped one which I'm very excited about. It's gonna come out this far, we're just measuring and putting things in its place. Yeah, coming together slowly. Uh, there's still a lot of sorting out and things to be done in the kitchen as well and trying to sort out what the best use of these cupboards will be. I like the way they open though, that's very cool. This is a much smaller kitchen than I've had in the past so yeah. Finding space to put everything will be a challenge at first I think. There's also this island in the middle though that would be kind of useful. Need to make better use of that. Okay, it's Thursday. I've just gone home from work, dropped off my laptop and things at the new place. Now on the way to the old one. Gotta be honest, didn't do any cleaning yesterday like I said I would. Did carry a lot of kitchen stuff down though. I know it's hard, I just want to spend time at the new place and not at the old place. But, you know, it has to be done. Checkout is on Saturday, so things have to be done before then. I'm going to meet Sammy there now, not to do cleaning. I'm not going to lie to myself this time, or to you. Uh, she's going to help me take some kitchen stuff down and then we're going to all have dinner at my new place because she hasn't seen it yet. So I'm looking forward to showing her. And tomorrow is when I'm going to have to go and like really hustle on the cleaning because it's literally the last day that we can. So that's what will happen. I don't know if you can hear me over this wind. There's apparently a storm coming. Uh, I need to take my bike out as well because right now it's on our landing. You might have seen it, you know, in past vlogs or whatever. Yeah, that needs to come to the new place and I'm not sure where to lock it up yet. So I need to sort that out too. vlogging camera with me but I'm at our old flat waiting for the landlord to do the checkout and feeling a little bit sad to be honest I really like this place and sad to be leaving it love our new place don't get me wrong but we had a good year and a half here and we weren't expecting to leave it so soon new place is much better but yeah still allowed to feel nostalgic about this one right I'm crossing my fingers it all goes okay with the checkout because I'm looking around and seeing the carpet is not great in some spots and yeah, I don't know. But the landlord did say that we didn't need to bother cleaning it because he's going to be bringing construction workers and renovating the whole place, which is why we had to move out. So, fingers crossed he actually sticks to his word and doesn't care about that. That all went well, so good. Getting out of Pozzebank, just need to sort out, you know, the bank details and things for that. Phew, big relief because that is a lot of money. Didn't want to lose it, obviously. Mark built our sofa last night, which I'm very excited about. It was one that came in like complete 
kit set like literally you had to stretch the fabric across all of the pieces and you know put the wood in and things so it's quite an intense job but it was from a site called Nabru and they allow you to customize everything which is why it comes quite kit set they did have like an assembly fee that we could have paid but we didn't quite realize what a big job it would be <laughs> when we were ordering anyway yeah really happy with it love the color now I'm going to sort out all of this mess over here is my aim for today. I just really want to be moved in and settled and even if things aren't in like the final resting place, that's a weird term, I want there to not be all this crap over the floors anymore. So I'm gonna get on to putting things away. <laughs> posters are hung. If you've been watching my channel for a little while, I think it was last year, I did a video all about how to design a map poster like this using Illustrator. So if you want to learn how to create your own one, I'll leave that link on a card and in the description box. It's not really an essential thing to do when you first move in, but I'm just having fun planning out where prints are going to go. I've got these, um, the Feed of the Focus prints that are really cool with cloud imagery and they're marks. I think we're going to put them up over there. Of the dresser. The whole flat is looking a lot more tidy now. Look, lack of stuff in the bedroom, yay! This wardrobe ended up being so good. I managed to put my screen printing stuff up there and our suitcases. This is, I don't know, a surprising amount of storage space, I think. So these are the posters that I have to think about next. I'm doing like a red, black, and white and grey, I guess, theme for the living room. And I think I'm gonna put these prints up on this wall, which will be nice. Not a whole lot of colour in this flat, but red will be the main colour in this room. That blue box is going away because I need to sort out the filing inside it. I also have this print here, if I can unravel it, which is an Adrian Bliss print. I also have the t-shirt and I really love it. I'm thinking I'm gonna try to put it up on that wall there. Well now it's Tuesday and that means that we've been living here for a full week officially. It is starting to feel more and more like home, we're all unpacked now and like you saw I've got some pictures up on the wall which always helps. I haven't put up the red and white prints that I was showing you earlier yet but that will happen in a future vlog because I'm going to end this one here. One last thing that we had to get sorted out was access to the bike storage because I have a bike that is currently in the shop being fixed but when it is done being fixed need a place to keep it so luckily there's like a garage in this building and a bike storage room I can keep it in. Got access to that today so that's all sorted. This has been a pretty long and choppy vlog I'm sorry about the lack of like you know nice arty shots and things hopefully we'll be back to the usual weekly vlog style coming up uh, not next week there'll be a Q&A but the week after that. Anyway hope you enjoyed this video hope you like seeing our moving process give it a thumbs up if you did and I'll see you again in my next video. Bye.